Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the CDL podcast. I am your host, Ryan, uh, and today, as you can see by the screen, this is not going to be the typical podcast episode. Um, here we have a tier maker for the current uh, CDL Pro rankings, uh, and if you ever watched Salvation's Elite's channel, which I'm sure most of you had, shout out to him. Um, this is completely his video idea. This is not some original idea I have, but I thought as I am a CDL channel, it'd be something that would be good for me to do. Um, he typically does this like every week or every few weeks um, throughout the season. Um, he has a bunch of videos on it. I believe he did one ahead of champs a couple weeks ago. Um, and as you can see, we've got an S tier of six players and then elite, great, good, and decent tiers of 12 players and then a replaceable tier of six players. Um, so this is all based completely on Modern Warfare. Um, otherwise, obviously guys like Scump, Formal, Crim6, uh, Clayster, if this was like an all-time ranking, would be way towards the top. Apathy would be a lot higher than he is on the list um, if this was an all-time ranking too, but this is only MW and mostly the recent tournaments. So it's not like if somebody had a great first two events and then has been horrible since, they're probably going to be more towards the decent or replaceable tier. And if somebody started the year pretty horrible, but the last three or four events has been a top player, they're probably going to be towards the great elite and S tiers. It's mostly based on recent events and kind of how I think their form is going to be going into champs. So maybe somebody like Formal, who has been very good all year, but maybe not S tier, might get bumped up a little bit because he's been very good, but also seems to step up at champs. So it's mostly based on recent uh, recent form that they've been in, and then maybe a little bit on how I think that they're going to turn up or maybe turn down for champs. Um, so yeah, shout out to Salvation's Elite for the video idea, power rankings of players going to champs. Um, and if you do enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, um, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and most importantly, comment down below where you think I should move players around or other thoughts on the CDL or questions you have or anything you want to talk about CDL related. We're getting towards the end of the year and um, we've been getting more and more engagement and I'd love to just keep talking CDL with you guys. So yeah, be, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed. Um, we're going to get into this. And before we get into anything else, uh, if you see down in this replaceable tier down here, um, six players, and it says Goderex equals exceed, uh, that's because in this tier maker, they have every single player, and I didn't um, really know how to edit it on here. They have every single player in here, but they don't have exceed since that roster move is fairly new. Um, so I'm just going to act like Goderex is exceed, as you can see by the bottom. And um, to me personally, I think that exceed has to be placed in the replaceable um, tier just by default. Nothing against exceed. I think he actually may step up and have some pretty decent success at champs and maybe help Rocker to make a little bit of a run, um, get a couple series wins or something. But on the other hand, he played one series earlier this year and to judge him off that wouldn't even be fair to him because he was like on no practice and just randomly had to get subbed in like that day, didn't know strats. Um, and he really struggled. He had like a 0.5 in the series, but I think he actually is a pretty good player. Um, and with him playing zero series, it's kind of unfair to like throw him up in good if I think he's a good player, um, simply because he hasn't played at all in the recent tournaments. Um, so he just by default gets placed in replaceable. That's nothing against him. I do think he probably by the end of champs will be in the decent or good category. But before champs, as he hasn't played um, any matches really recently, we have to put him in the replaceable tier by default. So that kind of saves some other players. It's one less player that's been playing a lot that gets thrown in replaceable. Um, and then I think we're just going to go in order from like the top row down and just keep placing players. They're all just in random order. So they're not like in any, any specific order. And then like in Salvation's Elites videos, he has like an area on the side for um, like question marks. We don't have those. We're just going to throw them in roughly the tier that I think they are. And then if great ends up having 14, we'll just have to move a couple down to good or up to elite or whatever. We'll have to switch things around. Um, but we're just going to do that as we go along. This video might go a little long, almost like a podcast because it takes a while to talk about these players. I'm going to try to keep a keep it under like 30 minutes but we'll see where it goes um so yeah comment down below your thoughts on the list as it as it forms if you have uh comments during the middle of the video and stuff but remember god rx's picture is exceed if it was god rx he'd be moved up more uh the first player on here is accuracy uh i have a tough time with him when you go back a couple years he was like one of the best main ars in the game i still think he's a very good main ar his team is the fifth seed at champs uh he's been pretty consistently at least decent or good all year i think for now i'm gonna throw him in the good tier uh i think he's a top probably a top six top half of the league ish around there main ar kind of middle of the pack i think he's extremely smart and i think he's a large reason for new york's success maybe organizing them on the map a little more so i'm gonna throw him in good uh, and then we've got alex he in the beginning of the year was such a good player currently and going into champs he's still been pretty good i 
I think I'm also going to throw him in good, but he's a player that could be maybe moved down to decent. Uh, we got Apathy, a player that, in my opinion, all time is like an S tier player, but this year he hasn't been that good. I'm going to throw him in decent for now, uh, simply because he has struggled. Let's be honest. He struggled this year. He could get moved up to good, but I don't want to just throw everybody. I mean, all these players are obviously good. They're all good players. They're in the pro league for a reason. Um, but I'm going to throw him in decent for now. Maybe you have to move him up because you know what? Some people have to be decent and some have to be replaceable, even though these are all great players. Um, Aqua, that's to me a pretty obvious decent placement. Um, Aqua is, in other years, he's been a good or great or even elite player. I mean, BO3, he was amazing and stuff. Uh, last year, he was pretty good. But this year, I mean, his team is dead last in the league. He hasn't been super notable. I think maybe if he had the main AR instead of Blast, he'd be a little higher. But uh, to me, right now, he's decent. He's not really a replaceable player because I still think he can start over a lot of players. But he's really not in the good level compared to some of these players either. Uh, next up, we've got Arcides, our first guy that's going to really climb up the list. I think he's maybe on the cusp of S tier, but so far in other years he could be. This year, I don't think he's right there. I think he's in the elite tier. Um, he's kind of in that like top 18 players discussion, maybe towards the top half of the elite players tier. He's been extremely good with an AR recently. Uh, he's been very good with a sub throughout the year. Uh, I think he also plays very well at champs. He's a defending champ, so that kind of bumps him up a little bit. He's shown that he can do it on the big stage, so I'm going to put him in elite. Uh, we've got a seam... Not much to say here. He at times has been good, at times has been great, and at times has been decent. I think for now I'm going to throw him in decent. I think he could move up to, to good. I don't think any of the players here in decent are going to move down to replaceable. They're all players that I would think uh, stay in the decent tier at least. And then next we've got Assault, the main AR of Minnesota. I think he is pretty damn good again. I mean, really in this league there aren't many bad main ars to be honest like there's not main ars that i can think of at least maybe we'll get to one that i'm forgetting but like when you look at like formal and um assault and accuracy and blast even and all these guys clayster i mean dens there's not like none of these main ars are like this guy needs to be replaced because i think it's harder to see that a main AR is the problem on a team unless they're like just dropping like a 0.7 or a 0.8 and they're just horrible because, I mean, main ARs can always drop around to one and then if you just look at KD, it seems like they're all doing okay. But I'm going to put Assault in the good tier for now. And then we've got Attach. Uh, to me, he's a player that's on like the edge of elite and great. I think since we don't have anybody there, I'm going to put him in great for now. I mean, as you know, all time, he's like an elite player, and I think he's been very good all year. So for now, we're going to throw him in great. He definitely has a chance to move up to elite, though. That'll be something we'll have to address. Like I said, I might stack 18 players in the great category and then move them around from there. Um, Bance. To me, Bance has kind of been overrated a little bit this year. Um, that might be controversial because I know a lot of... Uh, we have a pretty good amount of European uh, listeners, and they might be big Bance fans. But to me, Bance has been a little overrated this year. I felt like really early on in the year when Metals was playing well and they had Classic, Cami, Metals, and Methods playing really well along with Bance, I thought for a long time they should have subbed Kleenex in for Bance, and I think him and Metals would have had a lot of success. I think this team would almost be having um, the same amount of success. Maybe not, but I kind of think in a way with Metals they might be almost just as good or close to it. So to me, Bance is in the decent category i'm gonna put him in decent i think if i start to have a lack of players that are replaceable he could get a look for that but to me he's at best decent i mean in the past he's been like an s tier player in like bo3 but to me right now he's just decent uh then the next player on the list is blast or blastful uh he's gonna go in good i think he's been a solid main ar this year for uh la gorillas i think he's been arguably the best player on their team so he goes in good for now uh cammy wow um based like i said this list is a lot based on recent form i think i'm gonna throw cammy in the great tier because of that uh cammy in recent form i mean he was the mvp of toronto in my opinion in the last event and toronto won that event so that's got to move him up the list at least recently and he seems to be playing at an extremely high level he's the best player on a team that's in winner's bracket that has a chance to make a little bit of a run to maybe like top six or something so to me he's got to be in the great category for now he is a player that could potentially move down to good but we'll see as the list goes on uh, this is an easy elite uh, slash S tier player for me. Abizi's got to go uh, up in the elite tier. He's also shown that he can do it at champs along with this other guy in the elite tier with him, Arcides. Uh, he was able to win champs last year, had like a 1.3 something. He had like almost the highest KD on the team. Dude's an absolute beast. Uh, I can see an argument for him in the S tier, but as we throw more players on this list, I think we'll we'll see if he maybe deserves to be up there or not. I think that two of his teammates, Simpincelia, might also be... Um, 
S tier type of level. So I don't know if we can have half of the S tier B phase. They are the one seed though. So we'll see. I think a BZ is on the line of S tier and elite. He's like, he's in that, that next, that next 12 players, like the seven through, uh, whatever it be seven through 18. Uh, but I think he's more towards the seven or eight, um, in the number, uh, or the, like the ranking of players in the CDL. So he's going to stay in elite for now. Then his teammate is up next. Selium. I'm going to put him in the S tier for now. I don't think there's a way that he really drops unless maybe I decide towards the end of this, maybe I want to swap a BZ and sell him. I'm not really sure, but I think that a BZ has been amazing all year, but sell him is an MVP candidate for a reason. It's going to be pretty hard to not throw our five MVP candidates as the S tier. Um, but we'll see as it goes along. Maybe if I want to change things up to me, you've got to almost have one player from each of the top four teams in your S tier because I mean, they're a top four team that kind of split from the rest of the pack for a reason. They've got to have some good players and probably one player that's like an MVP type of candidate. And they all do have one. So all those players are probably end up there. And Selium's one of them. And then Nexus Classic um, at times in past titles has been a elite tier player. And at times in past titles like BO4 has been a replaceable player. Um, but dude always seems to find a way to win an event he found a way to win an event last year he just won one this year uh, i don't think he got one in world war ii but i'm pretty sure he got one in iw he seems to always find a way to win an event um i think i'm gonna throw him in the good category for now he's been pretty damn good this year and the ultra have been good he is a player that could move down to decent though he's in the decent or good i don't think he's teetering towards great so we'll see he might end up moving down a little bit uh, and then next we've got clay I think Clay's pretty easy. I think he's in the great tier. I think towards the start of the year, he was in the elite tier early on. He was like the MVP for Dallas in that first event they won. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put him in the great. I think he is teetering maybe towards, I don't know, he could go good or elite depending on the weekend, but I think it's got to be pretty safe to put him in great. And then next we've got Kleenex. Um, I seem to throw all these ultra players in, in the middle here. Um, I don't know. It's just weird. They're, they're a team that's like, they're the middle of the pack team with no clear and apparent superstar besides to me cammy looks like their best player but like um bants has been okay a classic has been decent and good um kleenex has been good i think i'm gonna put kleenex in the good form because i think he's more of an x factor than um bants i think he can absolutely go off on a map and make some insane plays um and in the pause meta he might have been good at reading the radar you don't know um but we'll put him in good for now uh and then we've got we got a lot of players left. We got to get going here. Um, maybe less explanation for each player. We got Krim. Uh, I think it's pretty easy to put him in great. He's been around one all year, and let's face it, he's Krim. Um, he had he led Dallas to like three event wins this year. Uh, he has come pretty much mastered the art of combining insane in-game knowledge and shot calling, teaming with Clayster on the shot calling, um, with still insane raw talent. After so many years of playing, he's in the great tier. Uh, he's been good, especially recently. He's actually been better recently than he was in the beginning of the year, so that helps to raise his stock. Uh, Decimate, that's a pretty easy, decent tier for me. Maybe teetering on replaceable, but I don't think so. He's pretty uh, pretty valuable in Search and Destroy. Helped lead Gorillas to being a good Search team a little bit earlier in the year. Dens, oh, we'll throw him in good for now. He maybe is teetering on great. I think he's teetering on great over decent. Uh, but Paris, Paris has looked good better recently i guess so maybe i should throw him in great uh but for now we're gonna throw him in good he could be a player that moves up to great potentially uh dylan dylan's a really weird one to me because if it was black ops 4 dylan's going straight to the s tier and i will argue anyone on that dude was insane uh he was a hard carry for reciprocity but this year it's been at times he's looked replaceable at times he's looked elite and then a lot of the time he's looked decent or good to me the dude's talent is s tier but for now, I'm just going to throw him in good. I'm throwing way too many people in good. I'm going to have like 20 people in good by the end of this and I have to move them all around. I already got, what is this? Five, I think it's eight in there. Yeah, three, six, eight in there. Yeah, that's yikes. Um, I'm going to have to move a lot of people out of good. But I'm going to throw Dylan in good now. I think he's teetering more towards decent this year, which I just feel so horrible saying for any London fan that's out there. In my opinion, I think Modern Warfare has hurt Dylan a lot. I think that Dylan is an S tier player. Um, but I think Modern Warfare has kind of got him like it's gotten a lot of players. Uh, then we've got Envoy. I think we got to throw him in the S tier because he's an MVP candidate. Somebody on Chicago has to be there. In my opinion, Scump, Formal, RCs are on the edge. And then Pristini is like a good player, um, but not S tier. So somebody in Huntsman's got to be pretty much in the top four uh, or in the S tier since they are a top four team. And Envoy is an MVP candidate and he's been very good all year. He's been an X factor type player. Like I like to say, he's like the route man for them. Makes a lot of plays. Insane in search is like their leader in search. Um, seems to shot call a lot actually too along with Arcides, so he's S tier to me. 
uh, Farrow. This is a controversial one to me. I think that he almost deserves to be an S tier over Skies, who's an MVP candidate. And I think I'm going to throw Farrow in uh, the S tier over Skies for now. We'll see if it changes. But to me, Farrow's the MVP of Florida. I think he's insane at this game. I think Skies is insane at this game. I think Awakening. I think you make an argument for any of them to be an S tier. But for now, I'm going to throw Farrow up there. Maybe Skies will join him, or maybe Awakening will join him. But I'm going to throw Farrow up there. He might move down to Elite, though. This is a little, that's a little controversial. I know that people want to throw Skies up there since he's an MVP candidate. Um, for the actual official CDL MVP. Formal, this is a pretty easy one for me. I think he goes in elite with Arcides. I think he has been um, one of the top main ARs this year. I mean, he's a main AR on a top four team. I think also, like I said earlier in like the intro, formal to me in champs time always seems to turn it up a notch. Champs formal is actually a different breed. I think the best event I've ever seen individually from a player is IW uh, champs formal. So I think he's going to turn it up a little bit. I think he's teetering on the great to elite tier this year anyways. And just because it's champs time, I think I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and put him in elite. Uh, then we've got Frosty. This is a weird one to me. It's it's just, I don't know. I feel like all of Florida deserves to be in good or better, but I don't think Frosty deserves to be in the great tier. And I also don't think he deserves to be in the decent tier, but he's just kind of like forgettable on that team because Skies is listed as a CDL MVP candidate. And then you've got Awakening, who's been like the newcomer of the year. Pharaoh, who's everybody has been praising as like the real MVP. Um, and then Havoc, who's been like the dirty route entry man, route man, like does all the dirty work. And then Frosty's there being a gap filler and doing his job. But let's be honest, in sports and everything, doing your job seems to be boring. But I'm going to put Frosty in good. I know somebody's got the move. I'm throwing everybody in good. Um, but Frosty's going to go in good for now. He might move to great or might move to decent. I would feel horrible moving him to decent, but he's just like a he's just a solid gap filler type player. Um, and then Havoc, I'm going to throw him in decent for now. He is a guy that definitely could move up to good. I might change my feelings on guys like Classic or something and I might or Alex, I might move Havoc up cuz I feel like Havoc Putting him in decent is disrespectful because his stats don't look as good because he's the dirty work guy. Um, but we'll put him in decent for now. And then, oh God, is this Draza or Hollow? I think this is Hollow. I always get the two screwed up. I think Hollow goes in decent for now. I think it's hard to put him anything above that. He's been pretty good at the events we've seen him, um, but nothing spectacular. I think the sample size is a little small recently. We've seen him in like two events and he's had like around a 0.9. I think they're good players, but for now, I think I have way too many people in good, so I'm throwing him in decent. Then we've got Hook. In my opinion, this dude's talent is S tier, S tier, like the top of the top. He's elite, pretty simple for me. I think he's like the CDL leader in kills this year. Dude's a beast. Um, Illy, for now, we're going to throw him in great since we have such a stack in good. Maybe we'll switch him around with somebody like Dylan or uh, Accuracy or Assault or something. But we're going to throw him in great for now. Dude's been a beast all year. He's on the number two seed. Uh, I think he's been having a huge impact in search as well. Kenny, another guy, if you know anything about me, Kenny's talent is like SS tier up there with Hook um, and Simp and all those guys, in my opinion. But this year, Kenny has just been good. A little shocker. I'm throwing another person in good. Um, but Kenny's talent, if you're a Optic fan, you think I'm bashing him. If you know anything about me, I'm like might pick Kenny to start my team over like any player in the Call of Duty League. I think Kenny's SS tier talent. But for now, I'm going to make him the 10th player in good. And God, we're going to have to move a lot of players around. Um, Kismet, that's a decent player to me. I think that's a pretty easy, decent player. Uh, nothing really to say about him. Luca, same thing. I think that's another decent player. Uh, but why does he have a Gen G sweatshirt? I'm confused about that. Uh, Luca. He's a decent player to me, maybe teetering on good, but just a lot of those Paris guys I don't have a lot of faith in. Uh, Mac, that's an elite player. He's been pretty much elite all year. Major Maniac, man, it's hard to throw him in anything lower than great. I think I'm going to throw him in great for now. Uh, Methods, S tier in my heart, but I think he's just a good player. Maybe he can move up to great. How many do we have? Is that 11 now? Three, six, nine, eleven. Yeah, we got space for one more and good. And I see probably like ten more good players down here. So it's going to be interesting to move those all around. Uh, we've got to move players to replaceable. Um, we've got Octane. To me, he's S tier. He's like number one in the league in KD. Unfortunately, his team is trash. Um, but Octane's an S tier player. Nothing, nothing really to argue there. Awakening. I think you got to throw him in the elite tier since he's entered. He's won two events. He's had insane KD numbers. He's had a huge impact on Florida. I think you've got to throw him in the elite tier. Pander, I hate to say it. I really like Pander as a player. Octane's best friend, but you're the first guy joining the default exceed in the replaceable category. I feel as though 
especially I think for the replaceable category, you kind of have to look at who's on their bench and who they could get replaced by if that's um, an option. And they have Karma on the bench. I know he did retire. Technically, I don't think he can uh, play anymore. But Pander, especially on this team, since they're almost dead last, he's he's a solid player. And I think if he found the right role on the right team, it could work. Um, but I think he needs a little more talent around him. This is more of a team of smart veterans that maybe aren't like the absolute slayers anymore. So he's replaceable. Uh, Pristini, man, he's got to fill up the good tier. He's got to be the last player that goes in the good. Uh, that's 6, 9, 12. Yeah, that's 12 players in good. We're probably going to throw some more in there and move around, but I think pristini has got to be a mainstay in good. He maybe even could be considered a great player. He's always underrated, but we're throwing him in good for now. Kind of rushing through this a little bit because I don't want to make this video too long, if you can't tell. Um, Priesta, he's an interesting one. In past titles, he's been an S-tier player. Um, in recent titles, he's been an S tier player this year. He's been a lead at times and he's been decent at times. So to me, I'm going to try to average it out. I'm going to throw him in good. I know that's extra players in good. And I think already seeing this list, I think I'm going to have to move down classic or Alex. And I think based on recent form, I'm going to move Alex down. Now, obviously I think that thumb injury hurt Alex a little bit. Obviously it hurt. Um, but I'm going to have to move him down a little bit just based on the fact that recently I don't think he's been as good. I think he could have a good chance and easily move up to the good or great tier. I think in a normal COD, in a normal year, Alex is a good or great player. But for now, I'm going to have to move him down to decent. Proto, sorry, another player on Surge that is replaceable. I think if they had Enable and Karma in there, they could be better in any normal title. Um, Proto, I think, actually is a pretty good player. I think he does all the dirty work for a team, and I think, once again, on the right team with a lot of Slayers behind him sliding in first, he could be a decent player. Saints, speaking of the word decent, I think he's got to fit right into there, which that puts us at 3, 6, 9, 11 players in decent, so we've only got room for one more in there. Um, but the next guy is not decent. It's Scump. I think I'm going to throw him in the great for now, in the great tier. So we've got, what well, we've got our 12 in the good tier. We've got 11 in decent, 7 in great. We've got a lot of room in great and elite and S tier. And I don't know how many. I haven't really looked down at the players that are left. I don't know how many actually go in there. I think uh, at least a few. But Scump to me is great. Maybe teetering on elite in any other title. I mean, the dude's usually elite and S tier. He struggled a little bit this year. But he's been very good, so he's at least a great player, if not elite. We'll see how the rest of it shakes out. Oh, uh, we've got Shawnee next. I always see Salvation's elite. Put him in his replaceable category a lot. Um, I don't know about that. I feel like I feel like Shawnee is replaceable, and the only reason I'm gonna put him in replaceable is because of what I said recently. I think that you could replace him with like Jerd or rated if you want to put rated on a second AR or like a lot of European players that could fit that position and they could do it just as well. But I think Shawnee is like a level above the, like the proto, the pander and the exceeds. I think Shawnee actually is a really good player and I picked London to go to top four for champs. So to me, it's a little bit weird to put Shawnee, you know, screw this. Nope. Screw it. I'm putting, I think Bance could be replaced by, uh, by metals easier than anybody could replace Shawnee right now. I think Shawnee's actually a really good gap filler. I do think Shawnee could be replaced by like Jerd, and maybe I'll move him back down to replaceable if I find somebody else. But for now, I'm actually going to put Shawnee in decent. I think he actually deserves some credit for how well he's actually played this year, filling in middle of the year. I think he's been a decent player. Um, Shocks, this is a teeter player for me. He could be thrown in replaceable because I think Breji on their bench could replace him, and somebody else has to go in here. Two more players do have to go in here. I'm going to throw Shox in here. I actually think Shox has been pretty good this year. Um, I think I even picked him for like my MVP of the one event they won. But I just have faith that he could be replaced by plenty of players. Like, It's not like he's like some super talent. So I'm going to put him in replaceable for now. Once again, I hate putting players in replaceable because these are all great players. They're in the CDL for a reason. Shotzi, you know where he's going. He's going to the S tier. I think he's a game changer for Dallas. I think he's the best player on their team so far this year, especially online. So he goes in S. Silly. I think he's got to be the 12th player that goes in decent. I hate to say it, but I don't think Silly's like a... I mean, I think they could have replaced him with like uh, Gunless in the middle of the year and gotten better, but Silly's like one of those players. He's a good gap filler. He's good at in-game comps. He's been around forever. His talent also is pretty good. He's always going to drop around to one. Um, he's a little bit slower, methodical of a sub, but if you've got a guy to slide in front of him like a seam, I think he fits well on a team. I think he's a decent player, especially recently he's been pretty good. Um, Simp. 
think that's going to be the last guy I put in my S tier for now if I don't switch anything around. Simp's talent is unrivaled, basically. He might be the most talented player of all time, or at least of the recent titles, so he goes in S tier. I mean, he's just a beast. I have a lot of faith that he's going to make some noise at champs and maybe be the MVP. Scraps, this is a great or an elite tier, elite tier player. I'm going to throw him in elite, or I mean, I'm sorry, great for now. Um, last year, he'd be an elite tier player, but recently... Uh, he's been very good. Uh, he's been better um, getting into form recently than pretty much all year. So to me, that puts him in the great or maybe even teetering on elite category. We'll see where uh, the rest of the players do end up going. Um, but yeah, I think that, man, I, I do think that uh, that Scraps is a greater elite tier player, especially recently. Um, Sky's obviously in the elite tier. Most of you would have him in the S instead of Pharaoh, and I'd have absolutely no problem with that if you do that. Not going to argue with that with you at all, but I've been saying all year that I think Pharaoh is the MVP of Florida and not Skies. So for me to put um, Skies in the S tier instead of Pharaoh, I think it'd be kind of going back on my word. So I'm not going to do that. And then we've got Slacked. Oh, we have to make a change here. I don't think Slacked is a great or elite player this year. I also don't think he's good, but I don't ever want to say that Slack's replaceable because he's an all-time great, and I still think he has plenty of talent. And he actually hasn't even been playing that bad this year. He's always been around a point nine. So I've got to throw him in decent and move somebody down. Now, I don't think any of the first four in this row are replaceable type players. Havoc definitely is, and I think I have him too low. Um, Hollow, Kismet, Saints, Luca. Man, I might have to throw Luca down there. Um, even though I think Luca's good, maybe I do have to move Shawnee back down. Damn it. Uh, I think I do. Actually, you know what? Screw this. Based on... No, Hollow's actually been playing really well. I was going to move him down. Um, I think I'm going to have to move down... I hate to say it. Shawnee. I said I was going to move you up to decent. I think Shawnee being in uh, replaceable is kind of dumb, though. Uh, I think that Shawnee is an extremely uh, underrated player. He's not like a super talented player, but he is, he's a good player. He, I will always say that Shawnee is a good player. He's a good gap filler. So to put him in replaceable, I'll say what I was saying before. I think he could be replaced by Jurd or Rated um, on their bench, and they would get better. Uh, but I do think putting Shawnee, I think Shawnee is the top. Just out of respect for Shawnee, I'm going to actually... Can I move him over there? Yeah. None of the other lists are in order, but Shawnee, he's in the front of replaceable because I think he does deserve to be in decent. Slasher, he's elite. I'll always back Slasher. I think he's an elite player. Um, been pretty good all year on a bad team. Temp, another player that's on the great to elite border. And when I'm looking at the players left down here, uh, I think Temp's... Oh, Wuskin's here, actually. Temp is like probably the second best one, so he's probably got to go in elite since, what, we have three, six, nine in elite. There's spots for three more. Um, TJ, man, this year you're decent at best, even though in past years you've been better. Um, so that means what we've got 13 now down here. We've got to move like somebody up a spot in every category. Ooh, who do we move up? I think we're going to move up. Uh, I want to move up methods just cause I love them so much based on champs form and all, I don't think Pristini should get moved up. I don't really know if Kenny based on the year should get moved up. Priest has been pretty good. I'm going to put... You know what? I'm going to move Priest up. He's been a lot better recently since he got the AR in his hands. Um, so that means we've got to move, what, we got three, six, God, this is so confusing, nine, 11 in the good, so we can move one more person up to the good category from decent since it's overloaded now. Uh, and I said it earlier, I feel like I disrespected him. Havoc, you're going up to good. I think Havoc's been a good player all year. I think it's disrespectful to put him lower than Frosty because they've kind of been on the same level to me vivid oh god i'm gonna have to move more people up vivid is uh we'll throw everybody in the category that i roughly think they are and then we'll move them around after vivid's decent at best to me uh waskin is on the borderline of the s tier so he's got to go in elite zed he's been a good player all year but i think he might be at best decent we'll throw him down in decent for now same thing with zero he's been decent zuma great player he's been pretty good all year draza he's been pretty good we're throwing them in good. So now we got to figure out, do a little editing here. This video is getting a little long, but we got to do a little editing. We've got three, six, nine, ten in elite and ten in great. We've got room for two more in each. So that means two of our great players have to move up. I think I'm going to, I was about to move priest up. Then I realized I'd move him from good to elite. And that wouldn't make a lot of sense. I think I'm going to move attach up to elite. I think he's been so consistent all year. It seems weird that I have what Mac, 
um, Temp and Attach all in Elite. And then, oh, I guess they are the fifth ranked team. All their players are probably good or better um, in New York. So I'm going to move Attach up. We have room for one more player. Uh, I feel like it should be somebody from Dallas considering Shotzi is the only player I have. Um, oh, no, I have Hook in Elite, I guess, too. Uh, I feel like Scump could get moved up to Elite. I think just for champs time, I'm going to move Scump up to, a, well, I don't know. I don't want to have three Huntsman players in the league considering they're the four seed. Dallas is the two seed. Uh, Krim, are you elite? I don't know. God, I don't know what to do here. Um, I think I'm going to say that Krim or Clay are elite, maybe. I think I'm just going to move up Krim to elite just because it's Krim. And it's champs time Krim. Yeah, I'm going to say Krim's elite. I might move that around later depending on how I feel. Um, but that's 3, 6, 9, 12 players in elite. Um, and we've now only got 3, 6, 8 players in great. So we've got to move 4 up to great. Um, so in that case, that makes it I am going to move Kenny up. Um, I'm going to move Dens up because he's been a good main AR all year for... Paris, uh, what did that leave us at? Three, six, nine, ten. Two more players. Um, I actually think, God, this is really weird to do. I think I'll move Assault up because he's been a mainstay on Minnesota all year and he's been very good. And then I think this makes me feel a lot less confident in my list because I've been moving everybody around so much at the end here. And then I think I'll actually move Methods up too. He was arguably the MVP of Ultra and I love Methods, so... I can claim bias if I move him up. So there's our 12 in the great category. Uh, God, I feel like I should move Krim down for somebody that's in great. Yeah, whatever. I'll leave him there. It's Krim. I, you can't you can't um, downplay me for having Krim as like the 18th best player or something. I mean, that's too low for Krim, if anything. Uh, now in good, we've got nine players, three more to get moved up. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to move up. I'll expect the good since I had him in there for so long. That puts us at uh, 10 players in there. Then we'll move. He's been pretty damn good. We'll move Hollow up to good. He's the 11th player. Uh, I feel like Zed's been pretty good. Kismet's been good. Asim, Zero, Vivid. I think we're going to move Zero up there. Zero's been pretty good all year. And I have faith in London to get to top four in champs if you see my prediction video. So we'll put him uh, in the good category. That leaves us with three, six, nine, twelve in decent and six in replaceable. So there you have it. Um, S tier, we've got Selium, Envoy, Pharaoh, Octane, Shotzi, Simp. Um, you see the elite tier, tier there. Um, the great tier, good, decent. Yeah, I, th I think I feel pretty good about this. There are obviously players that could get moved around. You can move maybe Crim down and substitute like priesta or scump or illy or clay or somebody like that in there and you can maybe move guys like dens or assault down and move other people up but i feel like based on how this year has gone i mean guys like it looks weird to have guys like slack tj silly apathy down in the decent category but that's what they've been this year honestly uh but that's gonna do it for my tier list uh you can see i don't have the replaceable down here you can see the replaceables down there uh list is a little bit too big to fit everything in. We'll just, the replaceable players, I mean, they're the ones that we don't care about as much. We care more about the S tier, so we'll show that here on the final little screen. But that's going to do it. Obviously, there's a lot of players that could be moved around. I think you could swap so many players in and out of the tiers. This is just like a quickly made opinion video. Um, if I had a lot more time to deep dive into stats, I might change things around. Um, but it was just more of a thing for fun. Shout out to Salvation's Elite for the idea. This is what he usually does like weekly or every once in a while, every few weeks um based on how players are playing but i think that is gonna do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed um subscribe if you're new we're trying to grow to 200 subscribers as we just hit 100 recently uh champs is coming up in a couple days starts on wednesday i hope you guys all enjoy watching if you haven't checked it out go check out my last video it was my predictions video for champs i made it about a week ago, over a week ago, but hopefully it's still accurate um, as roster changes haven't actually happened at all or anything with bench players. Um, but also comment down below uh, what you thought of my tier list, where you'd move players around. Was my list trash? Was it good? Um, 
let's have a good discussion, not just uh, while that list was trash or your list was great. Like, why was it great or why was it trash? Or let's have a good discussion about it. Or if you have any other things you want to discuss about the CD, uh, CDL, you know I'm always down for that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, um, check out my predictions video. I hope you guys enjoy watching Champs. Uh, there'll obviously be a lot of content after Champs. I might talk about in like my first weekend reaction video, I think I'll probably talk about Am Champs a little bit. A little sad that Hagee wasn't able to get the win, but I love Naga. Happy he got the win. Um, maybe we'll talk about that in a little bit in the next video. But enjoy watching Champs. Look out for videos pre-Champs. Check out the prediction video. And I hope you guys enjoy watching Champs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.